Hello, this is episode 161 of the Skate Floyd podcast. I'm Grant Fierro, here with Mike Medina. What's up, Grant? I'm chilling. How are you doing? Yeah, sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, oh, man, I had a long day. That's okay. We're here a little, we're here. little later than usual. We're, we're in the evening. We're here. We're live. I have a different backdrop today. Fuck it. <laughs> but we're here. We're uh, how do I sound? I feel like I'm like whispering. Yeah, maybe speak up a little bit, but okay. I-, I can hear you clear. All right, we're good to go. I'll just speak like a normal human, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, the headlining topic of the week for sure would be Quasi's full-length video, Mother, which was released online yesterday. They had some issues with the release due to copyright, but it's out there. Oh, uh, it's out there. Yeah, you can find it one way or another. There's a few ways you can find it. <laughs> um, I bet if you go on slap message boards, you could probably find the link on there. Yeah, I can guarantee that. Anyway, it's out there. Um, and Mike, I just want to start with each of our standout parts, if we did choose to do, um, and why they stood out to you. So for you, Travis Henry. What? Travis Henry for sure. Justin Henry. Oh, what did I say? Travis. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Justin Henry. What? Tra- Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh, Justin Henry. No, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> so fucking sick. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I saw him um, first at the Vans tour out in Chicago a few years ago. Yeah. And and everyone was saying, like, how good he was and shit. And when I interviewed Kyle, he talked about him as well. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, this dude's super sick. And then I started following him on Instagram, like, right after that, because that's, like, right when I, like, found out kind of who he was, you know? Yeah. And then I, like, noticed that he was getting quasi boards, and I got hyped. And then, like, the fact that he's the first part in this is super sick. So it's kind of, like, come full circle since I just randomly saw him skating at a demo, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, very. I think, okay, so what, wait, as far as, we, I was just in the car talking with my homie on the way here. And we were talking about full lengths of 2018. So what do we have? We have purple, the primitive video, this one. Why do I feel like there's more? Uh, at knees. At knees. Good shit. Uh, was was Birdhouse Saturdays this year? No. That was last year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it as far as this year. Okay. Yeah. But that's that sounds accurate, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. I just wanted. To, I, I wanted. What is your favorite one so far? You've watched them all, right? Yeah, uh, Converse for sure. Purple? Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking super sick. Same uh, here. I, I think I have to go. Like that, The Primitive Never video was really heavy, though. I like, yeah, I mean, I love I love Purple. Um, this Quasi video is definitely up there and Never. I agree. I think those are the top three. Uh, yeah. But that's what In my opinion. Way. Why Justin Henry? I mean, you kind of explained like when you first heard of him and everything, but like, oh, trick selection for sure, and like spot selection. He's a badass. Yeah, I mean, to add on to that, like that clip that's been going around on Instagram of him that wall. Yeah, that's sick. That's the one I posted too. That's the one I was hyped on. The most hyped uh, out of any. That was like my favorite trick from the whole video, probably. That was rad. It was really like so pretty different look at a spot, and uh, but super sick, like. It was cool. I saw Metro posted it, and like Niger was all hyped on it, which mm-hmm. is like random. But I just thought that was sick because I feel like just any skateboarder is gonna see that and like, wow, that's crazy, gnarly, like a cool way to look at a spot and you get it perfect. Yeah, uh, I mean, I totally agree with that. And I think that the, like the number one thing to take away from the Quasi video was like we got the classics, we got like the dudes that we came there for, but like the people that we had like, you know, quote unquote, never heard of or never seen like a lot of footage from all fucking killed it. Yeah. Yeah. The AMs, the, those like dudes. everyone went in, in that video, man. I enjoyed the entire thing from beginning to end. The Jake Johnson footage was great. Fucking Gilbert's manuals. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. He does the Gino in there, dude. Yeah. Back three Manny. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, I agree. I think you said that pretty well. Um, if I had to choose one one dude, I'd go Dick Rizzo. Yeah, I, I wanted to have you talk about him because you seem to be super fired oh, up. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, we've for sure have seen him skate. He's been in that. I was in that, yeah. Huff, that last Huff video. Um, Fucking so, rips. And I don't know. I think his skating does the talking for its own, but just really enjoyable. I mean, like Mike was saying, I feel like they went on a lot of cool trips for this video, like a lot of spots. 
are pleasing. Um, I think it's yeah, cool. agreed. It's Throughout the whole video, simple in the in the manner of it made me think of nine one seven that it's like, well, it's an HPX or HVX whatever camera it is, but it's it's really simply done. It's not uh, crazily edited. There's like no agreed. Cool, I like the way it's edited. Cool um, but I mean, they're they're a pretty artsy awesome. brand, though, you know. So like, their effect yeah. that they're editing is kind of artsy. Like, makes sense. It's not like yeah, outside I mean, yeah, the brand. Exactly. Yeah, I think it all makes sense. Um, but I like that the filming and editing isn't like just it's not too much. It's just simple. It it's fitting for who they are, and they just let the skaters do their thing. Um, and like you said, it's oh, it's always enjoyable when there's a, a full length like that that is just really easy to watch start to finish. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not crazy long. The team isn't super big, um, and they're all. I I really enjoyed every part, so it's just easy to turn that on, watch it for twenty twenty five. Yeah, minutes. I was gonna say it's definitely a video I'm gonna watch multiple times. Yeah, yeah. Um, and during my first watch, I for sure like didn't want to look at my phone or anything. I just wanted to watch that video. Same. Which is sick. Same. Um, I like the way it was formatted too, like with their moms, like. I don't know. I think that whole thing, not to mention the fact that they called the video mother and went back to their graphics is amazing. Yeah. Like, how great. the fuck can we dare leave that out? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was like one of my favorite things about it is the fact that it's called mother and they went back to the, like the, like the beginning of their parts where the OG graphics, like the, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Other than like, obviously the new guys. Only thing I would, I wish was a little different. I wish there was more blood. So footage. Yeah. Agreed. The fact of loving Dude, but so, but what, we got, what yeah. we got, I loved. I know he's had footage come out and like not too long ago, so I mean it makes sense. But yeah, you know, he's just out of like being a fan. Um, Where are you telling, man? I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah you love Tyler. Fuck uh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like you said, Gilbert, Gilbert really could. Cool. Dude, his back, Power. man, he was so sick. That crooked grind? Are you kidding me? Dude, yeah, he, dude, that thing was a mountain. It was just straight into the ground. Yeah, Gil, Gilbert. That yeah. was like one of the steepest rails. Or like, are you kidding? That was for sure freak. Who, I, who I expected to have last part. Me too. Um, and I think it's fitting that he's last Me too. part. I think I kind of a lot um, of people really would think they think quasi like Gilbert's probably who's come to their mind. It's because he drops the most footage. It seems like. Yeah, he does. Out of those, yeah, probably. Um, Do you remember Special Gilby? No. Okay, look up Special Gilby on YouTube Wait, after this. Is that, is that um, like a uh, little skit thing? Yeah, it's like his alter ego, dude. It's fucking what's hilarious. The one, what's the one with like his – it's like, uh, like he a brought it back. lady. Um, I don't know. Watch Special Gilby. He brought it back when Ave, when they were doing like the, the Ave voting. No, no, no. It's like – and she's like gripping his board or something funny. Dude, uh, I don't know. It might be related to what you're talking about, but there's maybe some... quite possibly the same video. I just can't think right <laughs> now. Yeah, I yeah. Just like well, that, I like that persona. I think it's funny as fuck. Well, as mother... so see when they when they asked him who they who he wanted to win Saudi, and he's like, "My pick for Saudi's Ave, but it should have been me though." <laughs> <laughs> I do it a lot. That sounds that really... shit's super funny. It's, uh... um, but yeah, yeah, that's really. Quasi. Go watch that. That's like a much watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then as far as really other big video projects. Not much. Dude, we, me and Grant and I were having like a hell of a time putting a list together, it seemed like. Yeah, Mike texted me last night. We're trying to figure out the topic list. And we're like, dude, other than this quasi video, not too much went down. Luckily for us today, Converse dropped a one-star world tour video. Um, it was like 10 minutes, too. That was sick. Yeah. Yeah, I was not I, expecting it to be that long. Yeah, it was a chunk of footage. It was sick because it was um, all street footage, and yes. it was dudes that not everyone's probably too familiar with. There was a lot of like European international team dudes. A lot of European dudes, man. Um, and I didn't really think that. I didn't really realize that that uh, Converse had the European poll like that. Do they have? A, yeah, if you look it up, I swear like, I didn't know that. There's, they have some sick Euro videos. Yeah, yeah. With some dudes that are on Polar and like, like that dude Paul Grund that's in this. Remy Tav, that dude is so sick. 
Uh, he did that backside ollie on that. It's like a rock in gaps to another rock, or like a steep bank to a rock thing. Mm-hmm. And then that car drives by. Um, Dude, European dudes are badass. We know this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then Dane Barker, his names came up on here a few times recently. He came through with some heavy footage in this. He would probably like. I think we, we talk about an MVP or like who thins out to us all the time in the video. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think like probably a lot of people, and I would agree that he was could have been that for this video. Um, it's kind of hard for me to choose because I really liked all those dudes skating, and I'm familiar with a handful of them, and it was just rad to see it all together. But Dane seems to like really be coming on the scene pretty fast right now. Um, so. I don't know. Like, he is what it just said. I don't know what else to say about that dude. He has power. Mm. We said about a lot of people, but I think we're just going to keep seeing more. I know he gets quasi boards. Um, hopefully, maybe they'll do another project in the future with some of the dudes that are still kind of flow and not quite am or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we've seen a lot of him just in the past couple months, like with that Spitfire Lotties video. And then he had like a clip in Mike Anderson's purple part and this. This footage and something else recently too. So he's coming on pretty heavy. That's tight. Yeah, I'm not very familiar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that. I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. I think in the near future, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be one of those dudes that's like you're just familiar with. Like you don't have to go out of your way to know who he is. Mm -hmm. I think his name's just gonna keep popping. That's a that's a strange expression, but very accurate. I mean, with the amount of skateboarding that comes out these that's days. That's true. Absolutely. Like, that's the best thing you could do. Is, is <laughs> you put out so much footage, you're just involved in so many projects that people just know who you are without having right. to look up your name or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was rad. Another video we really didn't know was coming. I, w- I had no idea. I woke up this morning, saw something on Instagram a couple hours later and watched it. It was sick. Uh, other than that, <laughs> There's a few news topics we could chat about. Uh, America made a big announcement announcing Eric Winkowski. Yeah, we knew that one was coming. He's been wearing them shoes and the and that shirt. Yeah, he did have the shirt at, what was it, Dude Tour or something recently? Yeah, some shit. So, like that. It wasn't too much of a shock. And then also they had posted a photo, uh, like a poster for their, their tour they're on right now. And they, they had him, they had a, it's like a drawing. And they had him blurred out. But you could see... Um, the dude that's blurred is holding a board and it was shaped and it had the colors of Eric's board. So I figured it was going to be him. Uh, but I still think it caught a good amount of people off guard. He was getting bans for a while. For like uh, ever, right? Yeah. Yeah, as long as I remember ever seeing him see it, he's had bans. Uh, but I think it's sick that he's on America and I think America needs to add some people right now. I agree, especially because they have that not, not. I mean, we don't know that they have that, but obviously Herman was getting a paycheck that exactly yeah. was, you know. Yeah, they've lost a handful of dudes within the past six months or year. Right. right. Um, well, I'm sure Herman was probably a big chunk of that. Yeah, Herman. Multiple pro models and had been there for God knows how long. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think Eric's a really good dude to add to your team right now. Fuck yeah, yeah. very marketable. Um, it's a little different. He's super marketable. Very yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, I think a lot of people, like all different types of skateboarders. I don't know anyone who doesn't fuck with him. Exactly. Like, I think everyone's, not everybody, but a large portion of skateboarding is down to watch Eric. I honestly don't I know anyone who really doesn't fun. like him. I think he's probably really fun uh, to watch. I got a demo because he's going to be doing his own thing. Of course. Uh, so I think it's perfect. Um yeah, I don't know. It, it just makes sense. It makes sense. And I'm excited to see. I, I hope there's a video from this American. I was going to say, that's the only thing that we was we didn't get any footage with it. Yeah, but he went straight. You know like, how I am, dude. And then that trip next day, so. I know. Hopefully. You know how I am, though. I like the footy with the welcome. Yeah. yeah. We didn't get footy with your boy Frankie Spears yet, but he talked about it. Yeah, I know. I'm bummed. That pro part. Do we? I don't even think we forgot to talk about Frankie going pro because I mean that's we, crazy. Mike's <laughs> Mike's like top five favorite skater turned pro. We didn't even talk about it, right? Frankie Spears, I'm sure dude, everyone get that him. boy on quasi, dude. He just went pro for Allen. That's cool. That means we can get him out of there now. Oh my god, <laughs> you're ridiculous. I'm just kidding. Um, 
But you you listen to Das Days Nightclub? You hear him talking? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you got excited for some footage. Dude, that's all I'm waiting for, though. Like, dude, Spencer and fucking Frankie Spears are putting out parts. Like, dude, I'll be good. Spenny on Friday? Dude, that's about to be extreme heavy. The thing I was tripping out on was just how much we see him on Instagram, like even in the streets on Instagram. Yeah, crazy always. Um, so it's going to be sick with him having some saved up footage. Dude, I have never seen Spencer footage and been bummed out or even let down or anything other than extremely stoked. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he's really rad. I should go back and watch some of his older, just some of his parts from the past. I watch his, uh, I, well, dude, I watch his shit all the time. But what, what Spencer parts do you watch? There's one that's like, there's actually one that says best of on there that's like solid. That just someone re-edited or something? Yeah, and it's like very tight. What What's he had video parts in in the past? Supra for sure. And then he did stuff yeah, with Expedition. Expedition yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, I've always obviously been familiar with Spencer, but I don't think I've Fuck, really yeah. paid too much attention to him until probably, like, the past year. His Instagram yeah. has been so sick. Um, Dude, he is just, like, the style god, in my opinion. Like He has really good style. Really everything cool. he does looks so perfect. The thing I trip out on is on Instagram, he was doing one day, he did a kickflip back tail, maybe kickflip back tail shove on a normal size, like, concrete jersey bear. Yeah, that's gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's on Friday, and he's getting his uh, pro shoe for Supra, which uh, is really cool. Yeah, that's rad. We we talk about this in the past. Is that we really don't see too many all original pro model shoes anymore. Um, the colorways for brands can be pretty popular, which makes sense. But it's it's sick to see. But someone like Spencer really skates all the time, deserves it, to get a shoe. Yeah, and has been loyal as fuck to Supra through real, everything. A lot of people leave Supra. Bro, he's watched all of his friends leave, and he stayed there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for this part. Like, like literally all the people that he, like, skates with are Getting a pro truck, too. Oh, yeah. Can we talk about that? That's, like, what's going on? Is it just a Spencer party? <laughs> it's a Spencer party. Dude, now, I'm down he, for the Spencer party. That's a sick part, as fuck. A truck, a now, dude, now Max Allure needs to get him on a board. around and just give him a board. Do you think that's who he'll skate for? I hope so. Him under Carl Watson that. skating for a New York brand seems sick to me. I I think Spencer could could be on that for sure. I think it's a cool fit, personally. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Like I think with Especially because they don't have another pro. Carl's their only pro. Yeah, but does Carl, like, I don't think he's going to be, does he doesn't have his own board? He has a board. Yeah, he does. does he? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, then I agree. I think they should add a pro. And I think Especially, he make- like, somebody like him who you just said absolutely kills it all the time. Yeah, and just with the dudes that they have on his am during that they're hooking up, I feel like Spencer fits right along in terms of how they all skate. I agree. He'd be perfect for it. I agree. So if that's gonna happen, I would assume it's gonna happen soon because, like Mike said, we got the Spencer party coming up this week for sure. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, that is a Spencer party. That's not that's not bad though, dude. No, that's shoe that's part good. truck. What's he ride for? Gold? No, he skates spits. He skates spits. Yeah, whenever I see him post his setup, he so far. You're positive of that. Yeah. Damn, he's even cooler. Gold. I think gold's completely done. Thank God. They, I went on the Instagram. Could- Weird brand. I always I thought so. Since like November of last year. Always thought that was a weird brand, man. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie. Uh, I've never seen those ones in the streets. You've never seen gold wheels. I don't think so, There's man. No way you never saw gold. I don't think so, man. At Maybe. The, at the peak of DGK. There had to be some kids. Yeah, you know stuff. what? I totally Love lied because Emmett, so Emmett Duffy rode for them. Who? Emmett Duffy, Chicago dude. Oh, uh, uh, there you go. You saw some He gold. rode for uh, – yeah, he rode for the ice cream team, dude. No way. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. Isn't it? <laughs> um, who else we got? We just got news. 
We, we, we could speculate a little bit here. Yeah, I was going to say, photo, run through some new stores. Photo, yeah, we'll keep it bored. Uh, photo Bobby Kaiser with the spray painted board. Uh, you seem to think it's just he's dipping. I think it's possible. Maybe he just hated that graphic. Yeah, I mean, he was on a trip. It's also possible he, his board broke, set up I mean, some somebody else. else's and spray like painted it. I was thinking that's true. Yeah, that's totally. not possible. Um, do I think he could be living habitat? Like, I'll put it this way: I won't be shocked if he did. I agree. I think, I think he's. I think it's rad that he skates for habitat. I like the fit. But where uh, the fuck would he go? I could see him maybe Polar? on. Polar. Yeah. I mean, this trip that he's on is with a couple of the yeah. couple of polar dudes. Um, it would be something along those lines. Uh, yeah, I could see him on polar. Interesting. He's on Converse. There's there's a good mix between those two companies. Interesting. Good point. So I, I think it's possible. Um, yeah. But We're know. not going to talk about Tory's board again, are we? No, we are. We haven't talked about that in a while. <laughs> Getting a little, a little more public now. I suppose. I think Who's it's still the same. League? Who's at Street League with a blank board? Yeah. But, but the last time we talked about it was because he had a Thrasher sticker over the whole plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, dude, like, I didn't even realize they made Thrasher stickers that big. That's <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll look at his Instagram. Last time I looked, it's the plan B is still in his bio. So I, don't, I mean, we could just be dealing with contract at the it's moment. Probably, yeah, I was going to say, it's probably going to be there until the checks stop coming. Um, but I don't know how he could be having – I don't know. He seems to be somewhat blatantly just covering their logos, skating. Dude, he's a millionaire, man. Millionaire? <laughs> he is, right? Uh, on what, Instagram? No, Grizzly. He's got a million followers. Dude, he probably has a million bucks. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's its own distribution that has other companies under it, and they and all are, they're that, all in Zoomies across the world. Like, dude, don't be surprised if Tori's a millionaire, man. And I would assume that he gets a pretty nice check from Red Bull. And let's not – remember what's-his-face saying he used to make six figures a year? Was that Jeremy? Jeremy Rogers. Yeah, sorry. I could not think of that dude's name for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I do remember him saying that. Um. Imagine if that's also, true. Tori Puddle's on Tech Day. You know that? No. <laughs> well, and it, they, I know they like put some dudes on recently. Like Alec Majerus skates for Tech Deck now. Tori has the listed it. He's on Tech Deck. Gotta be a decent check. I Can seen. I get on Tech Deck? Uh, yeah, but you gotta send in some clips. A fingerboarding? Probably both. Oh. Maybe like you do, you do a trick skating and then. Do the same trick. There's my tech deck right there. It's missing a truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are we going with this Tory thing? All right. Well, if he's off plan B, what do you think he's going to do? Bad news. What's the bad news? This is going to be the name of his brand. Tory's going to start a brand called Bad News? Yep. What do you think would skate for it? I don't know. His friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Tucker. His friends. I don't think Nick Tucker is the only primitive. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. My bad. I don't see that happening ever. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just talking shit. Uh, who's going to ride for his company? Chris Jocelyn, dude. Oh, that would be crazy. I do see Tory doing his own brand uh, when if if and when he leaves prim- or Plan B. Um, he's obviously done it in the past. We're just talking about how successful Grizzly's been over the years. Uh, and I think it just kind of makes sense. I think. Well, Seva. Seva is a free agent right now. That's He's going it. there too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, did you see? Speaking of Nick Tucker, Nick made his own post about leaving Diamond now. Oh no shit! Yeah, he he, he made it Instagram official. I mean, he's been wearing Nikes on Instagram. We post. already made it Instagram official anyway. <laughs> But he did make a post. Thank Diamond for the good times. Um, I made what a pretty, pretty standard professional skateboarder leaving a company post on good terms. Where's he going? Nike? It seems like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's what he's been wearing. I still, I, know. I still don't think that Nike would sign him right now. 
Um, I, I don't know, man. He's got good. like all the. He's kind of got all the stuff that they're looking for, bro. But at the same time, the way like a lot of the ads and videos Nike's had recently, I could not see Nick being with those dudes that they've been promoting the hardest. Um, like who? Like the the whole Blazer thing they did with Lance Mountain, that whole mm-hmm. trip, which was like Oski, um, uh, Cyrus Bennett was in it, and like a few other yeah, dudes. But those, that's not what he does. I know, but I feel like Nike's trying to push that whole side of their team harder. Gotcha. I get what you're saying. Than like a cleaner, fresher dude at the moment. Um, so I don't know. I don't think that Nike would add him right now. But that's just my guess. It's, yeah, he's wearing their shoes for sure. Um, on Slap, someone said that they think that Fila is going to launch a skate shoe program. He yeah, do. I've been seeing that too. Do I think that's impossible? No. I think it's almost kind of comical. Okay. I could, yeah, I could kind of, I could kind of believe that. I could see, I could see them like approaching him. I think I could see him being one of the people for it. Um, I think Seba if they was wearing him, no. they'd have to have Seba. Uh, but I could see them. He's been wearing diamond shoes though too. Seba has. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, like I already said a couple weeks ago when we talked about this, him leaving Diamond was such a big surprise to me that I, I don't really know. Um, what else we got here? Clay Kreiner dropped a part called Madness. Mike, we kind of talked about this real quick before the show. Oh, that transition shit? That was super sick. It's, it's buck. It's heavy. It's really, if you're like, looking for that, that heavy and super gnarly tranny shit, that's, you got it. It'd be great. It'd be a great part for someone that doesn't skateboard to watch. Like, I feel like they could really uh, appreciate the gnarliness of that. Yeah, that's definitely like some Thrasher Skater Die type shit. That, like, dude, when I was watching it, I was like, this is like tricks you probably do as a little kid, like, on a video game. Like, he yeah. backflipped. Uh, wow, nigga. that's actually really. You know what I mean? Like, yes, how do you try. I do. I, the first I thing exactly I thought of that mean. was, how do you try a backflip over a gap? What is that? Uh, that's just crazy. Dude, I don't know, but that is like a video game-ass part. Yeah, it really is. The flip tricks, the invert, I don't whatever it was, like a big flip invert grab, invert or whatever, I don't know. But he was flipping his board into a hand plant. It was insane. And his wheels like bonked on the way back in. <laughs> so gnarly. Um, that's, like, that's like the skating that I'll just never, ever be able to do. Oh, yeah, that's... I feel like if you don't grow up skating a ton of training and skating for ramps and stuff, then it's just not going to happen too much. Right. Like, it's hard to learn how to skate like that for sure, it, dude. You have to, like, nearly stop skating yeah. street stuff or regular a flat bar at the skate park and, like, only be in the bowl forever to, like, have yep. some sort of grasp on it. And it's, it's just, like, mind blowing to watch what someone that's just so good at it can do. I totally uh, agree. And it's cool because this dude came up pretty quick out of nowhere. Like, I didn't know who he was probably a year ago. Um, right. I'm I'm still not crazy familiar with him. I know he's on Nike, and I know I've seen him do kickflip 540s in a pool because everyone put that on Instagram. That was insane. Um, Yo, speaking of fucking 540s, you know what's something that's not on the list that I did? Um, what? Happened to, like, did you watch that, like, downhill shit? Uh, like Red what? Bull, like downhill thing or whatever. Oh, oh, oh! I saw an ad or something for that, but I didn't watch. I didn't know there was like a full. Dude, video. it is fucking hectic. Is that like the whole contest online? Dude, it's all yeah, it's online. It's all downhill. Like com- everything is downhill. There's a dude. Don, a I can't Smith, think right? of who it is right now off the top of my head, but somebody just literally throws a fucking McTwist. <laughs> but it's like a downhill like. Park. Yes, yeah, and it's like it's like it's like built around water, dude. Don't Zion and Jamie skate that? Yeah, Zion gets like doesn't really do much. Jamie kills it. They show footage of Nora skating it, and like she looks like she's terrified. I can understand dude, why. It looks. I yeah, I was just gonna say, that. like, dude, it looks <laughs> so <laughs> hectic to skate. Like, honestly, uh, <laughs> Sorgente kills it. Is that who won? I think so. I can't yeah. remember who won. Sargente's a badass, dude. He's buck. And he can 
He's pretty versatile. He's badass. I back that. That dude's sick. Um, back to Clint Kreiner real quick. His part, it was a part's called Madness. He's on this new brand, Madness Skateboards, which I just told Mike about before the show. And Mike, you were saying you hadn't even heard about it yet. Not once. It's uh, Jack Fardell left Sovereign and is now on this brand, Madness, which I believe is through uh, Dwindle. And it's Jack Fardell, Alex Perlson, um, Sam Beckett, and Clay Kreiner. Um, so all training skaters. Their Instagram. Jack, well, I guess Jack Fardell. Yeah, he skates training for sure. Yeah. Um, I would I would consider him like mainly a training skateboarder. I think. Yeah. Jack, I would. I would for sure. Um, their Insta- sovereign. Sovereign's weird. The thing I've never got about Sovereign is I just don't understand the direction of... No, me neither. That's I, what I, I mean by it. Correlation of the team to the the brand, I guess. You know what I mean? In terms of yes, like... Yes, I do. The board graphics and the way that their ads are and the video style, I don't think matches the majority of the team. Does Nate Greenwood still ride for them? Who? Nate Greenwood or whatever? Yeah. He still does. But, like, when Deshaun was on there, I never thought Deshaun made sense on it. Same with Cody Cepeda. Yeah, I don't. that didn't make sense to me. And, honestly, Midler on Mikey Taylor's board company makes sense. But mm-hmm. Midler on what Sovereign is I don't think makes too much sense to me. Um, I mean, they turned him pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's going to be there. But – I don't know. It's just a little bit confusing. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Midler is buck, dude. Yeah, he's sick. I think a lot of people, a lot of people, will make fun of him a little bit or it's whatever. But... Is this because he was a little kid? Yeah, yeah. I get yeah, that for a couple yeah, more get, years, honestly. I get that. But the other day, I saw I was watching spinning away and Tyson back by those that King Carroll in Sacramento, I think. Mm. And then I remember that Alex Midler can pull back fifty that. And that's so insane. <laughs> Yeah, he's gnarly. Yeah, for sure he gets down. Um, is that it? Well, there's one more topic. Okay. Mark Johnson posting. Oh about yeah, good one. Business and company, which seems to be his new his new board brand that he's going to be starting. Um, what did you did you have any takeaway from these his posts about it? Not really. Yeah, I didn't. They're really. Pretty cryptic, honestly. What do you mean by that? Like they're pretty like. In code, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't really have any expectation or understanding, other than it seems to be his board brand that he's launching. Um, right. He did think, uh, like, he posted a photo of all these boards. There's some polar boards in there. And yeah, boards. Some other. Yeah. He thanked Jim and Deluxe for helping him out with boards for the past year, however long the period of time was. Um, so. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty interested. I, I think what you said about it kind of being code does have me interested in um, what the brand's really going to look like um, and who Mark would have on the team. Um, and his whole his little uh, period of time with otherness, I think, adds to like this mystery of what he's going to do now. Um, yeah. Really, all my thoughts. I on mean, it. I'm high. Like, yeah, if it's Mark Johnson shit, I'm not really like down. With, like, you know, I mean, I'm not like, I'm hyped. Like, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be fun to see it unfold for sure. Right. Like, I'm not like upset at him for doing his own thing one bit. Yeah. 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 Well, that's really uh, that's really yeah, it's quick. It was it was a quick one, but it was a short week or not a short yeah. week, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Short on. Content. It was a quasi. It was a week of quasi, basically. Yeah, go watch quasi and go watch that cons one star tour, and you'll have a lot of good skateboard. Yeah, that's the good. That's that's the goods. Let's that's be good. honest. Other than that, we talked about some dudes, maybe switching sponsors and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. It's not always yeah. video parts every day. Oh, well, there probably is, but yeah. You know. I was gonna say we're gonna get in the comments like, why didn't you review fucking da 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 da? I went to the trash and I was like, dude, it was just slow this. Week. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's wrong with that. Uh, we'll be back the week with 162. I'm, if last week was slow, it makes me think this week might be crazy. So, possible. 
We'll talk about so. we've got the Spencer party coming up. That's- oh yeah, we got a Spencer party. We're fine. What? I said we're fine. We got a Spencer party coming up. Exactly. We'll have Spencer footage to talk about next week. That's a plus. And that's a wrap. Peace.